Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Textway with me, Jay. Have you ever wondered how live streamers and YouTubers create these avatars with different characters, whether it's kind of a doge or it's a, uh, a dragon or something similar? Well, if you have, this video is for you. And it's very, very simple. You can create your own quite easily. I mean, here's a quick example of one that I created before. And you can see I'm kind of a samurai cat sat on a chair, same as uh, the one Manny who's the actual live streamer in the background behind me. Now, if you've ever wondered what the software is, well, it's this software on Steam. It's called FaceRig. It's about 10, 11 pounds or 15 dollars if you're talking US currency. And that deck, that actually gets you like the base version and about 50% of the DLC for it is absolutely free. Now, this software is really, really easy to use and it's basically just facial tracking software. So when you're kind of moving your head about, when you're talking, when you're smiling, when you blink, when you kind of move your eyebrows up and down, it will track all of that for you. Now, as I said, the software is on Steam for $15 or about 10, 11 pounds. And then you get, basically that's just for the, for the base version. Now there is a pro version of, available and the difference between the base version and the pro version is essentially just the license for making money on it. So, for example, if you want to start monetizing your videos on YouTube, or you want to start taking like donations and money through Twitch, then obviously you're going to need the pro version, otherwise you could get in trouble. Now, the pro version is £50, or about, what's that, probably $60, $65 in US currency at the moment today. Now, that's the software of what to buy. What, it, what in terms of the software actually looking like. Now I'm just going to move over to something I've already set up and you'll see this is basically what the software looks like. You'll see obviously myself in the bottom left corner and then you can see that the, the character I've got is actually tracking me. So here's essentially, you know, when I move my head to the left, when I move my head to the right, it will follow what I've set up for it. Now to kind of show this in a bit, a uh, bit clearer to sort of talk about, if I click on this button here, which is toggle tracking, this will stop it tracking my face. So if you look carefully around my face here, you'll see a lot of dots. And to make that simple, I'm just going to basically enlarge this. So I'm going to stop the tracking and then just go full screen. <laughs> Hi. So what you'll actually see here is if I start the tracking again, you'll actually see that, you know, there's the actual kind of facial tracking from about there to there. But it follows the eyebrows, the eyes, the facial expressions, where I'm smiling, and then if I, uh, if I just go back to the other view that I had, so this is just the green screen, but then, yeah, if we go side by side, you can see that it's got me in. Now, this has quite a lot of potential for different uses or different scenarios. So I was actually talking to someone who wanted their, their teenager, basically, or their teenage son, who wanted to get into live streaming, but their parents are quite strict, so they don't want to actually essentially allow their child to go onto the webcam and basically put themselves out there onto the internet with Twitch. Um, probably because they've heard a few horror stories about it or something. But what they were kind of speaking to me about is different options about how they could protect that and still allow their son to have a bit of fun. So if they wanted to, I kind of suggested this software because the reason for it is you can create a different persona or a different character to play online. So you don't kind of have to be yourself. And then with that, you even, you know, like even the voice, if you really wanted to go that far, um, over in the over in the corner here, you can actually do different voice effects ranging from just a distortion and echo all the way through to making yourself sound like a robot if you really want to. So there's a lot of different effects that you can do. Now, I'm not going to go into basically how to set this up with OBS. If you guys want, I will do that in another video. We'll do a full, full tutorial on how to set this up in OBS and Twitch. Um, but that's something for another day. Today, I just wanted to give you a quick overview of what the guys are actually using, what the software is called, how much it is, where you can get it from, and just kind of a, a, a quick glance into what it's actually there for. Um, before I should go, these have actually been hovering over me, and these are basically some advanced um, animations you can do with a character. So, for example, if you had an avatar which had a left hand or a right hand, you can actually press and direct. So if I was to like click, then I could sort of drag a hand going over this way, same for this one, um, you know, you can actually control if uh, maybe I wanted to make the avatar look like it was about to throw up, so you can hold down this button and you'll see it goes over there, or I can make it stick out with its tongue, and obviously you can drag that in different directions if you wanted to, so there's a sort of flexibility with it and you can kind of make the character your own. So. That's the software. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do want to see a tutorial on how to get this working with OBS or any other software, drop a comment below. I'll quite happily do that for you guys. Well, thanks for watching. 
and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.